when it comes to white papers, um, a lot of people think that white papers have to be sort of your same old humdrum, boring document. Um, I disagree with that. I think there's a lot of things you can do with a white paper that makes it more like an ebook, more like an exciting document that you'd want to engage in. Um, you know, so we'll take the document and then we'll sort of create a look and feel, but making sure that it has, you know, brighter graphics uh, uh, throughout that make people want to read it in the first place, right? That's going to be really important. Um, sometimes they're short, like this one here, it's just a two pager, but again, it can be interesting, it can be bold, it can be exciting. Um, sometimes they're longer documents. Um, Sometimes sort of middle of the road. Sometimes you can add sort of a fun theme to it. It doesn't have to be your standard fonts by any stretch, stretch of the imagination. Um, you know, make sure that you make it modern, current, so that it kind of fits into today's look and feel with white papers. Like this one here is kind of, kind of ordinary, right? But what I did was I made sure to have a lot of white space. Um, thin, narrow galleys of text, so they're a li little easier to read. Um, that that's really important there. Um, this one here, you know, with Microsoft for their Surface Pro three, you know, making sure that you know we called out blurbs that that made it easy for people to 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 read the the more important, prominent parts of the piece. Um, you know, so keeping that in mind, that was really important there. Um, but again, you know, there, there are a lot of different white papers and they're all different. So I treat every single white paper differently because each and every project is different and unique. And that, that's why I like to, to coach and counsel with clients and, and consult with them first to kind of find out what it is they're looking to do, um, what their audience is like and what kind of look and feel we're going for. And then I just sort of pluck my nose and dive right in and get started and, and try my best to come up with a really cool white paper that's going to work for all of my customers and their clients. I think that's really important.